CataractCoach.com. Traumatic cataract and traumatic macular hole. So combine cataract surgery and vitrectomy surgery to restore this patient's vision. You can see here it's a whitish looking cataract. A little iris hook going in there. Just expand that pupil. You can see that you already have the parts plane of ports in place. Very important. Listen to me. Clamp the infusion line right now. Otherwise, there's too much posterior pressure, and that can cause an issue. So now, getting that Rex is done, tripan blue dye was used. This patient appears to be on the younger side. Not a lot of nuclear density here, just some whitish cortex there. Putting the phaco probe in the eye, and that can be aspirated pretty easily. And fortunately, the capsules looks like it's intact, the poster capsule as well. So his lens material is easily aspirated from the eye. We are guest surgeon here, Dr. Nimesh Patel, and he's also operating with Ann Kwan, doing this case together here now. Now look at that zyner lost there. Bottom left of your screen, that's the patient's superior nasal aspect, and you can see about one quadrant or 90 degrees of zyner loss. Put some viscoelastic in the eye there. Expand that capsule bag. Let's get a CTR in. Now you've seen my videos, you know I like to engage that leading eyelet of the CTR with the Sinsky hook, but you could just implant it simply like in this case, and now it's stabilized and pretty reasonable looking rexus too. So I like that. Time for the eye well. Now slightly enlarging the incision. This patient's gonna get, looks like a three-piece lens here going in the capture bag. And that three-piece lens with the CTR may offer more options for future fixation should there be more um, sun setting or dislocation or descending of the eye well. Now for the vitrectomy. Dr. Patel here is a fantastic vitreoretinal surgeon. You can see some triamcinolone being placed in the vitreous cavity to help stain that vitreous. And now peeling that off, getting a complete removal of that vitreous. And look carefully there in the center of your screen. Yup, there's that macular hole, a full thickness macular hole. Now in a case like this, you could have done it two-staged. So you got some endocyanin green being placed here to help stain that internal limiting membrane. And here's the ILM peel. It's almost like a capsulorexis. As a non-retina surgeon, it just makes me uh, think of a capsule rectus every time I see that ILM peel. I think, you know, I can do that. I've done tens of thousands of capsule rexes. So, beautiful job here peeling that ILM. That looks fantastic. Now, staged approach would have been do, to do just the cataract now. Let the patient heal up and then send the patient to the retina surgeon for the vitrectomy later. Here, though, it's nice. Everything combined in one case. Peripheral shave here to get all the rest of that vitreous out. Here's a fluid air exchange. And this patient had a really beautiful outcome. So really nice combined case here at the end. You can take out the um, ports, put in some medicine, and the case looks great. Now, there's a very important online portal called Vitreal Surgery Online, vrsurgeryonline.com. For you Cataract Coach subscribers, it's totally free. Go to VR Surgery Online. It's a complete textbook, including videos, and of course, text and pictures of vitreal retinal surgery. So if you're a VR surgeon anywhere on this planet and you enjoy learning, I want to invite you to check out vrsurgeryonline.com. You can see those are the names of the senior editors and the chief and founding editor, Dr. Fung. And this is really a fantastic resource, even for a guy like me who's not a VR surgeon. So certainly if you are a video rental surgeon and you love cataract coach videos, check out vrsurgeryonline.com. You can sign up for free and have complete full access to that whole textbook and videos and all the resources involved there. And if you're just a cataract surgeon like me and you just have an interest in everything ophthalmology, check it out also. Thanks for watching.